Good morning. It is 8.30. It is the 11th day of December. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming, the OGGM celebrating Vlogmas. And today, let us address the multitude, the multitude of announcements that came out over the past 48 hours from the Disney Marvel Investors Conference that secretly was held a couple days ago, I think on Wednesday. So between Wednesday and today, there has been a ton of information on what Marvel and Kevin Feige claims, claims to be the plans for the next couple years. Now, let us remember that much like the doctor, Marvel always lies. So anything they say you can expect and you they say you can, you're going to see in the show and you they, they show in the trailers, everything post Tom Harlan and even some stuff pre Tom Harlan has been proven to be, well, not 100% true because they know there's spoilers and they know there's leaks. So they have developed a history, especially between Endgame and Infinity War and Spider-Man and some other stuff of saying one thing or showing you one thing, but then really turning out, oh no, I mean, you know, there's scenes for the trailer in Infinity War that don't exist in Infinity War because they put out false stuff because they knew there was going to be leaks. So this is what they said at the investors. And there's some that people are extremely excited about and other people are like, I don't, I don't care. Now, obviously the top of the list, WandaVision. We are all, well, most of us very excited to see WandaVision, to see what the direction WandaVision is going to go on, on the Disney channel, how they're going to address the adult content in WandaVision. Come on, it's, it's Disney. It's not going to be that adult. <laughs> Probably just going to use it as a way. You know, but obviously WandaVision is, is the number one. Everybody wants to know what we're going to see on WandaVision because WandaVision is going to sort of set the stage for what we can expect for the next five, ten years from the Disney MCU engine. Will it introduce the X-Men or will it introduce the events that lead us to the X-Men now that Disney owns the X-Men again? What will it lead it to? How will it feed into um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? Because we know it's going to feed into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. How is it going to feed into Spider-Man 3? Because one of the big announcements, and again, we don't know how much of this is true, is that Spider-Man 3 is basically going to be Spider-Verse. Um, we're going to have Andrew and Toby along with Tom's supposedly in it. Uh, we're going to have an individual playing Gwen Stacy, but we don't know which Gwen Stacy it's going to be. Is it going to follow into the Spider-Verse exactly, or is it going to be more of like just, you know, because of the events of Spider-Man, and we know Doctor Strange is going to be in the new Spider-Man. So who knows? That's the other big announcement is that we're going to see supposedly the Spider-Verse in Spider-Man 3. There were some other announcements, obviously, addressing the Black Panther issue, because sadly, Chaz, Chadwick Boseman has left us. He, he died this year, as you know. Um, but filming it had already begun. There's a script, and they are claiming they're going to continue with it, but they're not going to replace Chadwick Boseman, which, okay, the Black Panther is a mantle, so somebody else technically could wear it. And there's a lot of is it going to be the little kid Shiri, you know, being the next? But they claim that, no, they're going to focus more on Wakanda, how Wakanda deals with the fact that the Panther has passed away. I don't know. Uh, again, take all this with a grain of salt because it's Marvel and we know Marvel tends to mislead us. There was some talk about the new Miss Marvel, the Kamala Khan stuff, um, you know, and some of the backlash for casting non-Pakistani actors in roles that were played by Pakistanis in the comic book. Um, obviously, a lot of excitement because we know Kamala Khan was is a very popular character, and the Miss Marvel comic really was one of the few that did this whole SJW woke diversity thing correctly. That, and you know, I I love Miles Morales, and I love the new Spider Man, so I think they did that one really well too. Um, but I think Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, is the one that they hit on the head. So how will they do um, it? There are some other announcements of what we're going to see on Disney TV over the next couple of years. You know, besides the ones we already knew about, we know about WandaVision, we know about Loki. There was a teaser for Loki; it looks amazing. We knew about um, Falcon and the Snowman. There was a teaser for Falcon and the Snowman. Still, 
doesn't really explain what's going on. Not Falcon the Stoneman. I'm sorry, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, what's going on with the shield? And, you know, does the Falcon accept the mantle of Captain America? Or, you know, because we know Steve's still around. He's just really, really old. But what does that mean when you're Steve and you have the super soldier formula in you when you're, you know. So that'll be interesting to see how they address that. Uh, there was hints that there's going to be, uh, they're going to do Armor Wars featuring War Machine. There's going to be a Nick Fury based one um, talking about the Secret War. Um, you know, there's some other stuff, you know, how is Miss Marvel going to play into the Captain Marvel show? Because there's talks about recasting Brie and putting the character from the Miss Marvel show into the Captain Marvel movie. Uh, other stuff. But the big, big announcement, of course, the one we were most excited about, Fantastic Four. The director of the Spider-Man Homecoming movies is going to be directing a Fantastic Four movie. This is a five-minute lead-up to this. So somewhere in the next 10 years, we're going to see an MCU, hopefully correctly done, Fantastic Four movie. And I think a lot of people are excited about that. I mean, you know, Deadpool being in the MCU, if done right, would be hilarious. Um, seeing the X-Men done again, I don't know. I'm sort of X-Men out. Do we really need more X-Men? You know, how are you going to do it? And how are you going to fit the X-Men in, in the MCU? Though I suppose the snap and the five-year gap explains things. So, well, I think what we're hoping is that the FF is the movie and the characters that take us through the five-year gap. Because if you remember, there's a five-year gap in between the death of Thanos at the beginning of Endgame and Ant-Man coming out of the quantum realm. There's a five-year gap where it, it, nothing is really addressed. We assume the um, Black Widow movie is taking, uh, taking place in that five-year gap. We assume the uh, Shang-Chi movie is taking place in that five-year gap. And I guess we're sort of hoping um, Fantastic Four takes place. Because that would be the best way to do it. The best way to introduce the Fantastic Four would be the five-year gap because that would be the best time for them to show up. I think the best way to do the movie, if I was going to do the movie, I would do it the same way they did Homecoming. Skip the origin, just like they did in Homecoming. Everybody knows Spider-Man's origin, and by now I'm pretty sure everybody knows the Fantastic Four's origin, and really, it doesn't really, nobody really cares. I mean, as, as comic book origins go, eh, you went into space, you got bombarded by radiation, you all got mutated, each one of you represents one of the four elements, blah, 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 blah. You're the, you know, you're the, the, the first, com one of the first comic books of the modern comic book era, you introduced us to the idea of super teams, there are four iconic characters that everybody loves, so don't do the origin, just start it off like you did with Homecoming. Action, comedy, adventure, story development, maybe some flashbacks, you know, to how they got the powers, but mostly it seems to be the Fantastic Four dealing with the five-year gap and all the threats to the world during the five-year gap, especially with the time stone missing from the continuity. That's how they do it. So that's the big news, obviously. Five minutes of me leading up to the big news, Fantastic Four. We're going to see the big Fantastic Four. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about Miss Marvel, though I don't know if they'll do I don't know if they'll do it justice. I'm excited about WandaVision. I'm excited about Loki, could care less about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, though I do want to know what they're going to do about Steve and how close to the comic books they're going to follow. Could, could, uh, do I want to see a Nick Fury television show? Well, if it's Samuel L. Jackson on my screen every week being Samuel L. Jackson, of course I do. It's Samuel L. Jackson. Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings of the Mandarin? Eh. The only way that's going to work is if they follow the formula that they did with Guardian of the Galaxy, which is take a you know one or a group of very little known characters and just you know do the same formula. Guardians of the Galaxy worked not because it was interesting characters that people loved. Nobody knew who their characters were. It's because they took those characters and just did such an amazing thing with them. So that's the way Shang Chi is going to work. Uh, Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness could be awesome. Spider Man Three. Being the Spider-Verse could be amazing. Introducing the X-Men to the Marvel Universe, I don't think anybody cares. Introducing Deadpool to the Marvel Universe, though, I think everybody wants to see that. I think everybody wants to see Deadpool in the Marvel Universe. Anyway, so big news, Fantastic Four. There you go. Um, and how I would cast a Fantastic Four, just during the five-year gap. Place 
one out of every show, three shows and one out of every three movies explaining the five year gap. That is the section of time I think most of us are interested in that and what happened to Steve. Anyways, there you go. If you appreciate this content and want to see more, comment down below. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please subscribe because 250 subs by the end of the year and it's the 11th day. Still not too much to ask. I'll talk to you losers later. Fantastic Four.